But yeah, the, the blue coins, the blue coins suck so much. Okay, we're at, we're we're not yeah. doing this anymore. <laughs> but. Uh, all right, the blue coins are. Some are so easy; they literally put them right in front of you. Mm -hmm. Some are like this. Mm -hmm. This is one of the harder ones I think I had to find. I think the hardest one for blue coins in general is Noki Bay. Hmm. Just because there's like, it's all water. Like Noki Bay is a water level in a game about water levels. <laughs> I see, okay. Yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of a cool ambiance, but like, it's such a drag. That's probably like the worst one. Either that or Bianca Hills. But, um, yeah, I'm excited for the mansion one. The, I forget what they call it. Oh, yeah. Can the, we, oh, there we go. Yeah, it, they switch the controls up depending on like how you're playing. But I'm excited for that one, and I'm excited for uh, Kianta Village. That last one, that's like not mm. a water, only one without water on it, basically. <laughs> it's more forested, isn't it? Yeah, it's more, uh, It's it's got like the river in the middle, and like the big, the giant trees on that one are really fun. Oh, we haven't we haven't got to do an Il Pantissimo um, race yet. Hmm. Right. We were talking about uh, our favorite 3D Mario games. Um, you know, honestly, I think uh, I'd have to say that Super Mario Odyssey might be my favorite. Like, I know, I know, it's 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 more recent, but honestly, it just like it it. it it scratched all those itches for me. Like, like it just, uh, it was, to me, it felt like just about the ultimate 3D Mario adventure. Although um, Bowser's Fury wasn't, I mean, that was pretty good too. Bowser's Fury, I just finished playing that one, maybe about a month ago. Um, very good. I yeah, thought... it's, it's very small, but it's, it's very well realized. Because I, I remember starting it one night and I was just kind of sitting there and, and playing, I guess. And just, <laughs> As one tends to do. I'm like, man, this is just like Mario 3D World, but alone. And like the controls <laughs> are really weird and it feels odd. Mm -hmm. And I kind of just spend like, you know, five minutes with it. And I'm like, okay, this is kind of cool. And then I just got sucked into it. I'm like, wow, I need to see this through. This is so fun. <laughs> and then it was over, and I'm like, oh, that was really fun. I That one was good. For sure. I, th I think Mario 64 is just... I think that purely has nostalgia and time going for it. Mm -hmm. Also, the run for it is just so... I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't... I guess I don't really, like, watch a lot of video games anymore. Mm -hmm. Well, I, no, that's not true. But I found myself watching more and more... Yeah, who stuff. watches video games? Who yeah. does that? Um, no, I, I watch plenty of video games. I don't know why I said that. Um, I guess I just find myself seeing more and more speedruns of things. And mm -hmm. the Mario 64 speedrun, I just think, I don't know. It's it, the game itself is so conducive to just like running through it because it just drops you in. It's like, okay, here's how the camera works. Boom. Mm -hmm. Just have fun. Just like no nonsense. And Odyssey, for the most part, is devoid of that. But at the same time, they still, like, have a story going, which, is, you know, it's fine. Mm -hmm. um, oh, so, okay, for this red coin thing, there's, like, a route that you can take. So if you oh, just, really? Like, if you just follow the coins, um, it, like, takes you on the exact path you need to go. I see. Yeah. Uh oh I missed him. Yeah, just, if you miss it, just wait and then go back around on the same path the next time. Okay. Because it's basically the easiest way to get them oh oh yeah that one's tricky that scared me tricky red <laughs> he was right there and it... yeah i think i think odyssey is really good too there's not really a bad 3d mario i mean there's like okay ones but so why were we spit out to the overworld i don't know it's 
because I guess if you, I don't know. <laughs> you see what I mean? This game has so many like small, like weird things. If you mess up this game, it's incredibly annoying and I can see how anyone would be fed up with that. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, just follow the coins for the most part and remember what the route is for the, if you miss any and you should be good. Remember the route. And getting the, uh, getting the, um, the shine itself is kind of an ordeal because it doesn't take you off of the squid. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's just like. Ooh, nice, nice. Oh! Oh, oh! Well, I got it still. <laughs> According to the sound effect, I got it, so. Yeah, that one's really tricky to get. That's that's insanely tight timing. You have to like jump at just the right moment and wow. like. You know, I I bet it'd be easier just to go. You know, through those boats, like in between them. Yeah, like like double around and I think yeah. that's how I did it before. But it, it's still really tight because you have to like go around some pillars too. But. So isn't there like a glitch on this level? Um, like I feel like if you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this. I'm just, I'm just gonna test this out. Okay, you hit okay. this guy right here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and it knocks you off. Yeah, it knocks you off, and Ooh. I think you can just collect the coins. Well, I mean, you, I, basically, I don't think you have enough time to get them. Right, those. but I guess if you if you're if you need one more coin, yeah, you can just like go spot. You could do that, right? Yeah. So just get the seven coins, go hit that guy, and then go get it between the boat. Or even you could just hit the thing and then go get the ones between the boat and then hop on a squid. Right. Yeah. I didn't know you could uh, cancel that out. That's really helpful, actually. Yeah, I, I, I found that out by uh, the Super Mario Broth guy. I don't know if you follow him on Twitter. Oh, look, I'm not getting a game over. That's weird. Oh, now I am. Okay. Oh. Um, it's a guy who just posts, like, really obscure Mario facts. Huh. And that was, that was one that was recently uh, posted. And everybody was like, well, I wish I would have known that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because like for collecting the shine itself, it's just like absolutely necessary. Otherwise, you have to like line up a jump perfectly. And... <laughs> but I think I think if you pull back on the control stick too, it like slows down the squid. Oh really? Like... Okay, maybe I should do that. I think it does that anyway. But I think pushing forward has no effect. Maybe. No. Uh, I'm I'm going different directions on the control stick, and it seems like it's just one speed. Dang. Could be wrong though. Um, and maybe it might be a little bit different. I don't know. I think it's just barely different. That's sort of how I remember it. Oh, I missed that. Let me go back around. Yeah, I think the yellow one's a solid pick for this. The green one's good too, just because he's the slowest. Oh. Okay, I should, I, like should I hit the guy? Yeah, I would do it. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, no! I, 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 I totally hit him there. I this the Super Mario Sunshine uh, copy is messed up, and I need to return this. It's totally not my fault. It's the game. And we're, we're recording proof to this, and I'll be contacting Nintendo customer service right after we're done. Yeah. Yeah, what gives? <laughs> All right, you got it this time. Oh, man. Oh, missed that one. It's alright, that's an easier one to get. 
Yeah, yeah, you can hit the dude and then grab that. No problem. Yeah, I'm just gonna go back around and pick it up. Boom. Nice. Oh, missed that one though. You didn't tell me you were an expert Mario Sunshine player. <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't know about that. <laughs> Dang it. Okay, we'll do something. We're doing something, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, too bad. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this one one more try, and then we're gonna go to a different shine. Yeah. It's funny though because, like, it is difficult, but it's not that difficult. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's just not that, unattainable. No. Right, and honestly, I think what it is is it keeps shooting you out to the overworld, and that's that's what that's what makes it so maddening. It's like just just put me back, just just slap me right back. You know where I I was, I was left off. Yeah, exactly. It's just it, it's so annoying. I'm I'm glad that they give you two whole minutes for this. Yeah, and it's about picking the, the the green one, I think for sure. But yeah, I mean, if you're not doing it fast, though, like, what's the point? Yeah, this is not one of the... I like Rico Harbor a lot, but the missions here are kind of not too great. The world, like the the hub itself is good. Though. I like this level, but it's kind of bad. It, make, it, <laughs> makes, it makes you ride the squid far too many times. Okay, this is, this is pro strats right here. Um, nice. You know... A minute to reach the, the... <laughs> yeah I had no idea dude this is this is a game changer honestly <laughs> we're blowing minds tonight <laughs> and there it is okay so do you lose the blooper whenever you collect that shine norm or excuse me that that last coin normally or do you still ride the blooper? You still ride the blooper. Oh, wow. I don't know why, because it takes you off whenever you do the race. But then you have to like line it up and like go across and collect it. And it's just really, Ugh, it, it doesn't work well. I, I, it's such a lovely sight of all those bloopers just flopping around on the dock. I agree. There's not enough of that. <laughs> In the world. <laughs> I'd love to go to a, a, a dock and see an arrangement of colorful squid. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was a, that was a good uh, Mario flip animation. Anyways. Episode 7. Ooh. Shadow Thank Mario you. Reloaded. Oh, wait, no. Revisited. <laughs> you know, I always feel like those spiders right there, they're not very Mario-esque, are they? No. That's how a lot of the enemies they came up with for in this game kind of seem to be. They kind of they kind of got really experimental. There's mm -hmm. none of the classics in this one, really. Like... Piranha plants a little bit. Mm -hmm. There's no Goombas, no no Koopas. I'll remember this. That's the voice. He'll never, he'll never forget it. Nintendo's gonna patch in that voice. I bet they will. You know, just give him a nice sternly worded letter, mm -hmm. and they'll uh, and they'll bend to your will. Putty in your hands. Yep. Okay, let's let's go to the the park. Sure. 
I think we'll uh, get some good plot. <laughs> this is like one of the only times in the game it does any plot. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It is very strange. Okay, I needed to pick that up. <laughs> I was not expecting a cutscene to just randomly play right there. I didn't know it did that. I was confused. Like, did did something just get unplugged? <laughs> oh, he's he's licking you. <laughs> what, what was why why did he do that? He's just being a prankster, dude. Oh, it's just a yeah. prank. It's just a prank, bro. <laughs> He's born to prank. Hmm. A born pranking or die pranking. <laughs> <laughs> that boat was like, holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> Mecha Bowser appears. Mecha Bowser. I like how this level just doesn't show you anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <Not> true. <laughs> I like this world though. This is one of the better ones in this game. You know, I'll, I'll agree with that. It's exciting. It's not like too watery. Mm -hmm. I kind of like the fact that it's split into two. It feels larger than it maybe actually is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It if I had to say what were my favorite levels in this game, it would be this one and the hotel level. Yeah, the hotel's really cool. I think the times they get further away from the water are the better one. Right? That's that's why they needed the ice level. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. No, ice is, is, is water, I guess. Well, no. Well, ice is technically a water level, but it's like slippery instead, mm. you know? I guess there's not enough, there's not enough discourse about ice levels <laughs> in today's society i don't yeah. think we just need we always, there's always the water level like oh the water level mm -hmm. but there's never any like oh the ice level <laughs> you know because i don't i don't know what the general consensus is on ice levels i think for the most part people don't like ice levels because they're typically like slippery <laughs> yeah it's so i don't I think people like them I guess it's it's a good change of pace sometimes, but like not that, not not, not good enough to like always have one. <laughs> right. But I don't. I can think of like I thought the ice cavern in like Ocarina of Time was really fun. Mm. I mean that's not like a typical water like a, a ice level situation. Ocarina but... of Time is another game that I have not played it in so long. I'm. I don't. I know Mitchell said he's not a big fan of the Zelda games. Does that translate over to you as well? Uh, are, are you... I I like the the Zelda games. I'm, uh, like I don't think they're like super ama amazing or anything. Like I I loved uh, um, Breath of the Wild, of course. I mean, who didn't? But yeah, right. Uh, I mean, like I've played like basically all of them. Um, right. But they're they're not they're not something like I'm like oh we need more Zelda <laughs> or you know what I mean like uh, like I'll, I'll always play the newest one. Um. No, I'm I'm I like Zelda for the most part. I think the problem is there's some Zeldas that are totally stinky and some <laughs> that are just like, really good. Uh, like Majora's Mask, stinky. That's a stinky. yeah. I'm not a, not a fan of Majora's Mask. I. I thought I did just because I, I like the I like how it looks. Mm -hmm. um, it has a very distinct style. Yeah, it's, it's got a good atmosphere. It's got like amazing soundtrack. I think. Um, I don't know how I, how I hit that at the end there. That was kind of. Yeah, that that one can kind of be tricky sometimes, but you did well. Um, no, like the like the soundtrack in Majora's Mask is really good because like expands on like Ocarina of Time is like already like super iconic mm -hmm. uh, songs and sort of like adds to it. Noah, there's important story here, okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Sorry. Oh, no! Peach is a mother. 
I love how Peach never denies it. <laughs> I'm your mom? <laughs> yeah, Papa told me all about it. She never denies it. No. So... She just... She, uh... I think, I think she's into it. <laughs> I, think, I think she's down to be part of the Bowser family. Mm-hmm. Strange old man in a white coat. But why would you pretend to be Mario? What is up with that that small piece connecting this game to Luigi's Mansion? I don't. I was gonna say like, it's like such. It's. I didn't realize it's I had a. It's so. Life. It's so specific. It's like they don't. They don't directly reference any other game like that. <laughs> but I mean like. I think they have two lines of dialogue. So it, like it says that like in the beginning, it's like Flood was like, oh, it's designed by Professor E. Gad. And it's like, okay, who's that? And then- Does it say that at the beginning? I don't remember. Maybe, I don't know. It's at least, th the insignia is at least from like mm -hmm. Professor E. Gad, whatever. Um, but like, yeah, like if you didn't have the context of Luigi's Mansion, that would be so confusing. <laughs> Yeah, I like how it says, it appears to be heading towards Corona Mountain. You literally have, like, 20 shines. And <laughs> you will not be at Corona Mountain for another 35. <laughs> like, you're supposed to remember that. Oh, the hotel. I didn't realize the hotel is, like, right there behind you. Like, on the coast. Yeah, it's, it's, uh... I mean, if you're going to the theme park, you gotta stay at the hotel. Yeah. Okay, let's go back to the theme park. Uh, our I know our time's about up, but I think we can shine. we can have a, add a, a few more shines in here. Maybe. I think the next one's a secret level. Oh, is it? I think so. Oh, the beach cannon secret. Ah. Yep. Now this one's not too bad though. I don't think. Oh no, this is the one with all the sand on it. I think this one's bad. <laughs> This one's bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there's some sort of bootleg Monty Mole firing um, some bootleg bullet bills at us, and some bootleg bomb bombs. This, this is all. This is all wrong. Uh, seems like this is working. Yeah, you just kind of hit him and throw him and he win. There he goes. <laughs> and his home is a secret. <laughs> just below him, he was hanging above a giant void. <laughs> Over Yoshi's Island world. This one's got a pyramid on the end. Hmm. Oh, this isn't the sand one. This one's fine. They just disappear. It's not too bad. Right, it doesn't doesn't seem that difficult. So far at least. As long as you're patient or know what you're doing, mm -hmm. I think it's Okay, so is there two separate ways to go or uh, the main way is to go up. That one just spawns a bunch of those little dudes. What's the point of that? I don't know. <laughs> Do you, oh, oh, there's two coins over there. I better head over there. I, I guess it's for if you fall down here, you don't like mm. out. Which is weird because the rest of the game is not like that. <laughs> right. But I that one up may look appetizing, but it's it's very risky. Yeah, I'm not gonna go for that. I would not. Yeah, you gotta you gotta belly slide most of the way on this one. Boom. Easy. No Got problem. Twenty one. Perfect. Amazing. Well, sweet, we made a sizable dent in this game tonight. We did. Is it okay if we do one more so that we can be exactly at two hours? <laughs> we'll get it there. Okay. One more. All right.
Which one is this? This is the red coins. Oh boy. Oh, this one's kind of fun. Yeah, it's the the theme park is a separately loaded area. So they don't ever show you in those previews um like where you need to go. Yeah. Instead so they show it right here, which is very strange. Okie dokie, let's let's grab some red coins. Sick. Don't be fooled, they're not all on the pirate ship. I think there's only like three mm. <laughs> on the pirate ship itself. The rest are just like hanging out, like in the rafters above. Oh, uh, there's a blue coin. I don't need that. Mm -mm. Red coins, red coins. <laughs> <laughs> Red coin only. Oh, are you supposed to land on these? Uh, I guess so. Well, I well not. I don't know. You just kind of get them. Hmm. Okay, so where are the other red coins? Are they like around here? Uh, they're like up. Oh, they're okay. I I see. They're like they're like on those like mesh things that were sort of. By where you were on the um, little roller coaster. I see. Okay. Let me go back here. Whoa! Whoa! That went all the way around. It does it like every couple. I think you can get up there by going up that path too. Oh really? Yeah, I think so. Let's just do that. Like going to that other side, and then you can like sort of. If you like, yeah, if you keep going up, I think it'll take you over there. This is the Ferris wheel. Or, oh, I guess you can just hover over to like the green lattice work. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, so there's one on the underside right there. Can we spray these guys away? Uh, from the underside? I think you can like bang on it and it'll... Oh, okay. <laughs> That's strange. But then again, that's kind of the theme of this game. <laughs> Just to be as weird as possible. This is a pleasant level. There's, I don't know. I, I there's something about this one. I, I'm trying to figure out what exactly it is. Yeah, hmm. I don't know, the music, is, this is the first one where, like, the song is, like, different. I right. Gelato Beach is different, but basically it's all just iterations of the same song, which is kind of cool, kind of, like, a fun idea for, like, setting a theme in your game. Mm -hmm. Same song, a bunch of different instrumentation, but it can get kind of old. So this one sort of has, like, a peppy feel. But I think it's also, like, the biggest one. Maybe like from just just it feels like the biggest. Mm -hmm. I never mentioned this, but I I um we are playing the 3D All Stars collection version, but I I am using the GameCube controller. Um, at some point they patched in the ability to use the GameCube uh, triggers. Oh. That's really cool, actually. I had no idea. Yeah, so the reason why um, the the triggers were not used originally and also why Nintendo, you know, didn't ever really use triggers basically any time after the GameCube was there was actually a lawsuit um, for, like, the patent of the triggers. Totally. And, like, they, they, like, lost that lawsuit. <laughs> um, 
And I I don't know what happened, but I mean, they they patched it back in here, um, the triggers. So uh, That's insane, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I was about to say it's weird that Nintendo just really doesn't have like an analog. Like like PlayStation and Xbox have had analog triggers ever since they started using them. I mm -hmm. feel like. Yeah, it, it's because of that lawsuit that Nintendo had. I didn't know it was lawsuit related. That's that's kind of stinky. Yeah. Okay. But Ooh, maybe you know, hopefully this indicates that uh, maybe that patent has expired or something and. The next Nintendo controller will have, you know, those triggers again. Yeah. All right. Oh. So I think this is where we're going to stop tonight. Uh, good. Thank you, Noah, for joining us uh, or joining me, excuse me, um, uh, tonight. And uh, I look forward to playing some more later. Yeah, sounds good. Thanks for having me. All right. Glad to keep going. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Alrighty.